Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Uh, I want to show you some settings that I was able to uh, adjust here on Samsung Q8 FN and uh, I don't know. I, I want you guys to try these settings and uh, utilize them onto your Q8 FN. I'm going to show you what settings I'm using. Uh, this is under the game mode. Currently, I'm using the uh, the picture mode here. This is a Forza Horizon 4, and uh, I'm going to show you some tricks, some some stuff that I did here to make it look uh, this good. And then I want you guys to try these settings and let me know what you guys think. Uh, what I was going for here, as you will see, I was really trying to to get the the best possible D block levels, but not to crush them you see i'm always being careful not to crush my deep dark levels uh, meaning that as long as you can see this detail here as long as you can see the, the snow on top of the hood on this uh, lapd squad car uh, i think you're fine but uh, i'm going to show you some of the settings that i utilized here and then you guys can try it out and then you guys let me know what you think is it worth it uh is it good is it not good is it bad you know you guys can determine whether or not it's good so here I'm going to show you uh, what settings I was using here all right so first and foremost I'm using a hold on sorry about that I'm using a natural mode settings here and uh, backlit I left it at 50 I moved the brightness honestly I I felt like moving brightness to minus two uh, I was worried maybe I was going to crush my deep dark levels but it that wasn't the case you know uh, so that's why I left it at minus two and honestly I don't think you should go anything than minus two so I left the brightness at minus two I left the contrast at maximum and backlit at maximum I left sharpness at 9. I think sharpness at 9 is definitely the best uh looks like the best icing on the cake if you will. It's the uh to me personally I think if you go above 9, go up to 12, 13, then you're going to outline way too much sharpness. But I think uh leaving it at 9 it gives you a really nice uh sweet spot the word I'm looking for was a sweet spot and then I left the color at 26 and down here auto motion plus settings I left that an automatic but I can also do it custom but I left it an automatic uh, local dimming I left it high and contrast enhancers I left it high color tone it's standard gamma I left it the way it is uh, and this is what I'm using right now currently uh, as you have noticed here you will see that I'm using a natural mode I'm not using a game mode I'm using a natural mode because here's the thing you know uh, I'm, I'm trying to like get the best possible HDR picture quality settings you know because this game it's really about uh, enjoying enjoying that HDR and and the quality and I felt that with these settings I'm definitely going to be enjoying uh, that much better clarity I was like I said I was worried that I might be uh, crushing my deep dark levels here but luckily that was not the case here uh, I think this looks great honestly you know considering this is the uh, LCD LED panel and uh, I'm really impressed what I'm able to achieve here with this television in terms of uh, 
deep dark levels, contrast ratio, the color, and the brightness, and uh, I think you guys will most likely enjoy this uh, settings that I utilized here in this game for this television. All right, maybe we can drive around a little bit. All right, well, here we go. Now we're in the winter mode right here. Um, yeah, this looks really good, man. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm very impressed with these settings. I think the trick really is is two things, guys. Uh, I think the trick is, if you truly want to have those deep dark levels, the trick is moving the brightness to minus two and then using the contrast enhancer to high. And of course, your local dimming should always be set to high. You know, you should never get rid of that local dimming. That local dimming should always be set to high. But I think uh, what I'm getting here, it's a pretty darn good picture quality, in my opinion. Now, remember, you know, I'm not using a game mode. If I was using a game mode, obviously, uh, there would be a little bit of sacrifice on the picture. 120 hertz and uh, the game mode, low latency, it's something that I would use only if I want to play games like Black Ops or uh, Battlefield, but if I want to enjoy the scenery, you know, like a game like this, then I don't think I need all of that uh, 120 hertz and 1440p. That's what, what really FreeSync it's really for. It's for competitive gamers, gamers who are playing those types of games. Uh, but if you're playing a game like this, Forza Horizon, which is just simply a beyond stunning looking uh, game, uh, I think you want to utilize the best possible picture quality that this television can offer. And this television can really offer some amazing uh, contrast ratio, deep dark levels, the color. I mean, uh, I haven't seen like... I haven't seen any other LCD TV uh, bring color like this, uh, like this one does. The way this uh, television brings the color, it's just simply amazing. So, uh, so yeah, these are the settings I'm using. Uh, as I have shown you in the beginning of the video, I think these settings that I have implemented here, it's something that you guys should utilize. Uh, don't use the game mode. Stay away from the game mode. Make sure you use a uh, natural mode. Uh, keep the brightness to minus two. And then keep the, uh, the backlit and contrast to the maximum sharpness at uh, 26 and actually I'm sorry sharpness at 9 here let me show you again just just so that way you guys don't forget All right, here it is natural picture mode backlit 50 this is the trick right here uh, brightness minus 2 move the brightness to minus 2 keep the contrast at 50 because we're running in HDR sharpness at 9 color at 26 and auto motion plus keep it at automatic and of course local dimming keep the local dimming at high contrast enhancer oh also set to high so basically what I did here and of course color tone keep it at standard so basically the 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 key two important key two important things that I did here was the contrast enhancer to high and brightness to minus two and I think that's the that's the trick here so anyway try these settings uh, and let me know what you guys think you know let me go let me know what you guys think 
But make sure you have this Stevie, either Q8FN or Q9FN.